Hello, and thank you for joining us for another Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. My name is Melvin Dother, an Application Specialist here at Mamaki USA. If you're in the sign and graphics industry, you're probably familiar with the material called perforated vinyl, commonly known as window perf. It's mainly used for printing graphics onto transparent surfaces, such as windows, while allowing visibility through the material. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to replicate the look and functionality of window perf using Mamaki's UV printer, the UCJV300. This will allow for easy double-sided printing onto Drytex clear VisiPrint film. Let's see how it's done. Let's take a look at our artwork for this print. I have two images that will be printed as a five layer print. They will be used as the top and the bottom layer. The other three layers will be my white, black, and white layer respectively. Those will be created in raster link. First, we need to mask our color layers with our perf swatch. I'll create a rectangle to cover the image, then replace the swatch. As you can see, the white dots block out the color to replicate window perf. Remember, when printing anywhere where there's white, nothing is printed, which is exactly what we want. Next, I will copy the Mamaki logo to my perf layer because I want the logo to be full color without the perf pattern. I'll make sure to delete the white text so my white and black layer are solid. Finally, I'll add a black rectangle underneath the pattern to ensure there is no issue creating my special plate later. Now we can save this layer out as our black layer. All that's left is the top and bottom layers. Don't forget to reflect your bottom image so it's right reading after application. First, we need to open our files in Rasterlink. Now, let's create our white layers using the Special Plate tool. Be sure to change the ink to white and select Valid Pixel. We want to do this process twice so that we have two white layer files. With all five layers created, we can now compose them together into one print file. By looking at the job list, I can see the top layer is the color file on the bottom, so that will be the one I drag to the top, leaving the bottom layer on the bottom. The middle will be white, black, white, respectively. Last step is to choke the white back under the layer tab. Under special color size, check the correct size box which will unlock the thinning option. Increasing the scan and feed by two should be enough for our image design. Now, we can finish the general layout of the print, including copies and spacing. While printing, you can see the UCJV300 prints all five layers simultaneously. We can also admire the accuracy of layering five prints on top of each other, even with the perf pattern. Using the proofing light demonstrates the visibility we will receive once the graphic is applied. Before applying the graphic to the window, I will trim it to the color. I am using the thickness of the UV ink to guide my knife as it is most comfortable for me. 
using a straight edge will work just as well. Even with the liner still on, both sides of the film show two different images while still being transparent. Here's the window we will use for our install. First, apply water to the window. Peel the liner. Apply water directly to the static side of the graphic. And apply the graphic to the window. Don't forget to use a felt tip squeegee to remove the water pockets. Also, trim the excess if necessary. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to Mamaki USA on all our social medias, and we'll see you again next time.